Hell yeah, it's time for more combat. I gotta think of a better way to intro this, you know. This is an MK4 fan game, if you couldn't tell. To rid all realms of Shinnok's menace, I manace. Plunge the earth into centuries of darkness and banish Shinnok into a place called the Nether. Detroit. So this is a 2D recreation of MK4. I don't know how extensive, how deep it goes, but I'm excited to find out. MK4 is a weird one, in all honesty. MK4, it's flex screen, pretty solid, all, all things considered. I think what we should do is go around to the MK4 portion of the cast and see how uh, they kind of work. I don't think I need to go to like Scorpion or like Sub-Zero, really. <laughs> What is that guy's sprite? All right, well, it's clearly made out of jacks. What can we do here? Wait, what? There's a back run? A, a back dash run? Wee. That's new. Oh my God, Ty's... Wee. Ty. Kai... <laughs> you can barely remember Kai. Get his name wrong. So yeah, Kai had that weird Superman thing. That's his throw. What? Is there no breakers? And when I say breakers, I mean the bone breaker moves that you could do in MK4. Huh. Alright, that works. Oh, that's a great, that's a great. He's so hyped about throwing that upwards fireball. So th that's that's all Kai really has going for him. It didn't not have his handstand stuff, uh, which was never very good in MK4. It was just something silly he could do. But his fireballs are the best thing he he, he had in vanilla MK4, and uh, by that extension, MK Gold. All right, that's pretty solid. Why why does he keep telling me I suck? I don't suck. I'm all right. Yeah, maybe uh, Quan Chi. Oh, Fujin, of course. That's pretty good. I think that's actually just Liu Kang's chest, I think, maybe. Liu Kang or, or Kung Lao from K3. I mean, this is usually a given because people just tend to take his sprite from uh, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. But I think this is, a, this is a more elaborate recreation, it looks like to me. So, in case you didn't know, Fujin's the god of wind. Can you tell? Like, even that had a rushing wind noise on it. And uh, the dive kick, of course, as you should. And flying! That's neat. It's a nice trick. Uh, that's cool. I didn't notice in the move list that weapons are a thing. So I guess it's not in there. Like, the, the, the weapon system. Okay, to be fair, that's probably way harder to put in than I think it is. Because it changed everyone's moveset, then you had, like, picking up weapons. But that would be incredible if if this, uh... If this, uh, Mugen was able to put that in there. Alright, Tanya. Tanya, top tier in MK4. By like a wide margin. Ah, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. It's just Jade Sprite. What the wall? And the drill. Stages look pretty sweet too. What? Though, yeah, the fireball. And, and uh, that's pretty cool, at least. At least her weapon is sort of incorporated there. Uh, cause she did have the boomerang in, in MK4, but... They just juggle the fuck out of the dude after that. Alright, Tiny is pretty simple, uh, but effective. She doesn't need many more tools. It's time for Soul Patch himself, Jarek. Looking like a 2000s metal band. Alright, so this is the Soul Chamber, the MK4 Gold version, which is kind of... Ooh. Alright, that's his little blady thing. What the hell move is that? I don't remember that. 
All right, there's there's Kano Ball. So l let me get this straight for like replacing characters. I never really got it. Let's take out Kano, but you know who we should put in this game? Kano. And a worse Kano at that. Oh, nice. So that's high kick, low punch, I think. Oh, I could go to the dumb, dumbass back slam thing. Or like, like it, I get if your character is like a super heavyweight, like a sumo, I can suspend my disbelief a little bit. But Jarek's just a normal guy. Nothing against him. He goes to the gym, but at the same time, that that shouldn't. Why is he so good at taking back bumps? Take a bump. Good snap. Uh, Reiko is sure a much more interesting character in MK1 than he ever was before. Just generic uh, crony in, in most of these games. Oh god, that weird ass flip kick. It's been a while. Yeah, and then throwing the, the shurikens. I think that's all he has. No, he's got like a teleport slam or something, I think. Uh, war teleport slam. Warp forward? I don't remember this either. It's kind of weird. It's very Fujin-esque, that. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh. And attack off it. Cool. Oh, air throw is blocking air, and then... There you go. Sick. That's pretty cool. Ray goes fine. All the characters so far seem, you know, functional. I guess Tanya is having not much going on combo-wise. Oh yeah, Shinnok. Shinnok kind of sucks in MK4. He's all just transformations. I don't even think he had his own specials. Uh, oh my god, it's just it's just Sonya's MK3 sprite. That's disappointing. No hate against her MK3 design, but like I love her MK4 default design. It sucks that. There you go. That's something. Sucks that they didn't edit uh, that to be be her MK4. Uh, she had the hat. She had, like green pants. I mean, it's very similar to this. She just looked a little bit more military. That's a pretty cool move, I have to say. She looked a little bit more military than looking like an aerobics instructor from like 1993. You know, I kind of prefer that for her. Quite a few moves, actually. A sensible chuckle. Hi, laser. Uh, how very injustice of you. All right, all right, regular laser. And uh, some sort of force field. I don't. I guess that's for uh, blocking projectiles. Two combos. Okay. Well, at least he takes out the the, the bony scythe. He's a, he's the bone master. Um, uh, Shinnok is. Well known for his prowess in the art of boning. HK, HK, let's remember. Yeah, just just a bunch of spinny kicks. That's what he's good at. Ow! We're gonna have to check out some fatalities. So I've received, uh, just to let people know, a cease and desist from one Maximilian dude about a recent uh, section I did on a Mortal Kombat video. So I'll be calling the next section, Rate the Finishums. It is a very new thing that I've started doing. Let's get right into it, shall we? All right, Kai, uh, what you got? Okay. That's like, that's like, that's like a six or a seven. Fatality. Not bad. I feel like I've seen it before, though. As a recreation of one of his MK4 fatalities, that's, that was pretty, that was pretty exact. Fatality. That's like a 7.5. Max, you can't stop me from doing this. You can't. Anyway, <laughs> this is his third fatality. Everyone has three. Right. It was kind of more tearing his torso into an MK4, but again, not bad. That's like that's like a 6.9. Nice. Okay, Raiden. His MK4 fatals were lame, so. Well, much like that one. 
But I think I've seen that one before. That that's an old fate made like Mujin fatality. It's like a five. I'm trying. Okay. Oh shit, that's like a four. I thought something was gonna happen. What the hell, Raiden? Alright, this better this this better save him. Uh, uh, uh. uh no! That's bad. A five, I guess. Shit! Christ! Alright, let's move on to Shinnok. It feel it felt like he was pretty good considering his special moves. Na, 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 na. That's pretty that's pretty solid. It's like a seven. And he has two skeletons. Yeah, maximum damage, baby! The best! All of his fatal there. Yeah, this is another MK4 recreation. Solid. Solid another solid seven. Alright, let's see his third one. Is it gonna be more skeleton bony goodness? Yes! A giant dinosaur skeleton stomped him. I don't know, that's like a 7.2. Alright, Liu Kang's probably not gonna impress me. Yep. Been, been doing it since 93. I mean, a 6? Alright, green neon Johnny Cage. How about this fatal? Fatalized. I'm impressed that they're able to keep that in there for this for this fan game. That's like an eight. Good stuff. Now Gor Goro's lair was given these spikes up here that you can kind of see in MK4. But without the camera angle pan, it's kind of lame. It's just like the MK2 tomb. So that's like I don't know, like a five. All right, Lou, what else do you have? Sorry you got sidetracked with stage fatals. All right, his weird MK3 one. That's like a five. It just seems like all of the classic characters have their old shit. That was just like Kai's. But actually, I think that's from Mortal Kombat uh, Shaolin Monks. It's like six. All right, Reptile. You are also not exactly like your Reptile MK4 costume, but have your old Ultimate MK3 Acid Bath. I mean, it's still pretty good, but like 6.3. <laughs> what else do you have? Is it all going to be just old fatalities that we've seen a thousand times? Yes, they are. You know, a uh, 5.5. Uh, uh, I have to be invisible for this one, folks, so don't complain to me. He ate his head, and then his torso. He was embarrassed, he didn't want you to see him do it. It's like a four. Alright, Jarek. I'm sure you have some impressive fatalities. That you ripped off from Kano! And the heart is levitating in your hand! Fuck, man. I don't know, it's like a four. Oh! Why'd you pan away? It's like a seven still, though. What else do you have? Come on. Huh? I'm just ripping off Cyrax and, and Striker. It's like a four. All right, now maybe Johnny will impress me. Love this old trilogy sprite of Johnny's. All right, the torso rip. It could have used an extra, like, twist and jerk of the torso from MK4, but it's like a six. Uh, uh. So that's just the one that he had in Trilogy. It's kind of, I don't know. Ah, five. All right, next I just assume it's going to be a head decap. I mean, it was well executed, but... Not more than like a 6.7. Alright, Reiko. Uh, uh, uh. He loves his shurikens, but yeah, seen this plenty of times. It's like a 5. 
What's number two? Oh no! That stupid shit. But recreated in 2D, it's kind of charming. So it's like a seven, because <laughs> it's so stupid. This is Sparta! What else you have? What? Uh, okay. Reka with the best fatality in the game so far. It's like an 8.5. All right, Mr. Jax, Raxer. Uh, all right, it's a slightly better version of MK3 one, but it's 6.7. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, look out! All right, just arm rep. I mean, it's not bad, but like, I can't give it more than like a six. He's been kind of disappointing so far. Slightly better version of his uh, hand clap, head clap, whatever you want to call it, clap. It's like, a, it's like a five. Intermission. All right, so I want to take a second, take a break from all the fatalityizing. How come Scorpion gets this weird purple background, like he got his picture done in Walmart, like like in the photo section? Everyone else gets these nice backgrounds, like Kai got waterfall. Jared gets a fire background. What the fuck? The scorpion gets this. I sure hope someone got fired for that. All right, what does Scorpion have? No, no, no. Found it. All right, this is UMK3 fatal. I mean, it's not too bad. It fits with Scorpion, so I give it like a six. They're just gonna be old, right? Yeah. I actually always liked that one in MK2. This one looked a little goofier, but. You know, another six. I'm being generous here tonight, folks. All right, just a toasty. But at least they run around like they do in MK4. That's solid. Uh, that's like a seven. Where's his scorpion? All right, Tanya, what the fuck? Down, down, up, down, HP plus block. Are you insane? Up, up, down, forward, HP? Christ. Ugh. That was pretty funny looking because it was bad. That's like an eight. These are hard to do, by the way. Okay, that was solid. That's like a 7.5, a good recreation. Uh, that's pretty lame. I don't know, it's like a, it's like a five. Sorry, Tanya. Hey, Fujin. He's gonna use wind powers, folks. Wind is the most dangerous of elements because it's so annoying. That's like a six. Let's see what this is. All right, like a skin peel, and they just fly away somewhere. We don't we don't know where. You don't need to know that. It's like a five. A lot of fives and sixes. What are you? He's using wind. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> That's like a three! Damn! That shit is a, a two-pack of ass! That shit stinks! Alright, sub. A little disappointing he doesn't have uh, his proper costume that he has in MK4. Uh, it's like a six. Oh, what are you? What are you? What is... Huh? Oh! That's his Ice Scepter that he has in the game. That's at least new. That's like a 7.9. Alright, Quan. Yeah, leg rip! Alright, blood should be coming out of the leg, but... I mean, it's still Quan Chi's leg rip, so it's like an 8. What's next? Oh! <laughs> all right, all right, you got me there. That's like that's like that's like an eight point three. Oh, oh, look at me, up you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Quan Chi is some solid stuff. That's another eight. 
and you just you thin it. Just just makes them small and explodes. It's like a six. All right, Sonya, I'm still disappointed about your costume, but the weird, stupid bubble that I always hated in MK3. Uh, it's like it's like a five. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not what it does in in MK4. It like chops the body off. So that's like a four. And what are you? All right, her legs split. That's fine. That's that's like a seven point one, I guess. All right, well, Sonya's fatalities are a bit, like, you know, not that great to end on. I mean, I give Kerry Hoskins a 10 in every part of the world and in every time frame. Let us take Jarek. Let us take single mode. And let's see. Here's the interesting thing about this arcade mode. Our endings in the game. Our MK4 endings in the game. Because they had the intro with Raiden recreated in 2D, that bodes very well for us. Ah! It does not bode well for- Damn it! We can also see whether this AI is MK Mujin, Mujin, uh, uh, AI, or it's, it's like, you know, kind of somewhat fair and balanced. We shall see. All right. That was pretty solid. A nice recreation of the 3D uh, living forest. Uh, I forget what his fatalities are, so yeah. Jarek's so proud. His mother is so proud of him. Ah, there we go. What am I doing? We already saw these, and this one's lame. I just waste everyone's time with that. Don't put this part in the video. Alright, Jarek versus Jarek. Finally, we will know who's the greatest. Who's the goat of MK4. I just noticed that body in the background there that's laying in, in like a purple tarp. Is that Emperor Palpatine? Who the fuck is that supposed to be? Because I think this is called the Combat Tomb or the Tomb or something like that. And I think in the MK4 like original, it's it's there. But what what is the, what is the lore there? Yeah. Oh, so that bug just happens every time. Just just move the heart pixel down a bit. I I really wish I know this will never ever happen because WB doesn't care about Mortal Kombat's legacy. They only care about having Netherrealm make new games. But if we could ever get a Mortal Kombat collection that has all the stuff, or at least a 3D collection, or at least releasing old uh, games on like Steam or something. I don't know. But like we need MK Gold again we need that back in all its broken glory and all of its stitched together fatalities and characters stitched together like the big bolt stitches that are in the middle of baraka's chest because my head cannon was that kung lao killed him with a split fatality in mk2 i guess that was my head cannon for i don't think there is an actual explanation noob cybot Look at this stage. I think this stage is in MK4. I, this this has a... I'm kind of recognizing it, but maybe it's made up bullshit thing. Is that enough skulls? Don't get me wrong. I like skulls. I have one on my head. But is that enough? I don't think Jarek will ever be back. The only ones from MK4 that have come back, right, that, like, consistently have come back in some form are, like, Reiko and Tanya. Kai has never been back, and uh, Jarek has never been back outside of Armageddon, but Armageddon doesn't count. Because the whole thing was that every character had to, had to be back, regardless of how obscure. Goro, not a problem, I've noticed, in MK fan games recently. Like, I think they always tone his diff uh, the sub-boss's difficulty down a bit. But Jarek, how do you make Jarek cool when, or distinct when you already have Kano? You have to completely change his character at that point. What the? Why is he exploding? <laughs> Why is the camera not showing it? That was so weird. He doesn't explode in MK4 console version, does he? 
I remember that shit. Look that 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 4K fire animation in the background's raging back there. But yeah. Oh! Whoa! No! It's too crazy! Let's go for endings. All right. Oh! It's over, Jerry. Yeah. Shinnok is dead. The good guys won. You're coming back with me. Never, soldier. I agreed to help defeat Shinnok, not turn myself into the special forces. The black. Do the ch ch Close enough. The black <laughs> dragon died with Kano. You're the last one, Jarek. Never. Look at so This is Lieutenant Sonia Blade. What? <laughs> Oh, oh, I wish I had taken Jax for that because his ending is even more hilarious. Cut to that bit, please. Sonia, this is Major Briggs. Come in. Sonia, this is Jax. Are you there? <laughs> going somewhere, Jarek? Jax! I thought you were going to. thought I was what? Dead? Like my partner you just tossed off the cliff? I'm, I'm sorry, Jax. Please. Don't drop me. Wait, I, I promise. Too late, Jarek. You can't drop me. You have to uphold the law. You, you have to arrest me. Wait, wait. This is brutality. You can't do it. Wrong, Jarek. This is not a brutality. This is a fatality. Anyway, I think that was solid, but it does need some additions. It needs at least the character's sprites to be more accurate to MK4 and to some of their fatalities from MK4. Scorpion didn't have his uh, scorpion fatality. It actually turns into a scorpion. There's some other things that were obviously missing, but I think it's a good start. It has promise. I'd love to see this continue. Link in the description below and where to get this, and I will see you on the next Combat Time.